All right, today on Prayers 101, back by popular demand, it's the second edition of the Tool Knowledge Challenge. All right, I'll start off with this one, not because it's hard to figure out what it is, but because I think it's really cool. I got it at a lawn sale for a buck with the stone on it and everything. If you know what these are, then you know what this is. I've tried just about every filter wrench I've ever come across, and this old strap wrench beats them all. Telling you to have a look at my grout renewal video. Telling you to have a look at my grout renewal video should be hint enough to get this one, even if you haven't seen it yet. These are 3 8 inch square drives. They're used mainly on flare nuts, like this one on this flared brake line. If you find some of these in your granddad's shed, hold on to them. He probably picked them up because he had a loose axe handle or hammer handle. Okay, so the top one is digital and it doesn't count, so pretend you can't see it. And just notice that the other ones all share the same scale developed by Pierre Vernier for precise measurements accurate to 1 100th of a millimeter and 1 1000th of an inch. This just looks like an ordinary tri-corner hammer until you get a close look at it and see that the face pivots. So it will always hit its target square without risk of damaging glass. If you've ever worked on a machine and struggled to remove hoses after they've been on there for a while, you'll really want to get some of these. Now you wouldn't be wrong if you referred to this as a pilot, because that's what the drill bit is there for, but the drill arbor itself is a means of attaching a heavy duty hole saw. People like to call these things buttons and fittings, but they're actually called anvils, and you can see how they're used in one of my favorite videos, Brake Line Double Flares. This transfer pump is inexpensive and efficient, and it makes a lot of otherwise difficult jobs easy. All right, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.